Okay, so here we go. We're gonna have to aim for one of these ones. This one here or this one down here. Uh, I'm sure it'll be completely fine. So let's uh, let's do it. Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another Simple Planes video. It's been a little while since I've played this game, so uh, I figured I'd try it out again. Uh, and we're actually testing out this plane, which is by Mr. Silverwolf. Uh, he usually builds really cool planes. Um, I remember one before, I think it was a Boeing 2707 uh, by Alaskan Airlines, and it was amazing. Um, I think that's right. I'm pretty sure that's right. Anyway, this is a Skywolf Muskie for 50 and um, we're gonna try it out today. So um, yeah, let's get into the skies. All right, so let's go ahead and get our controls back and what is that? <laughs> what was that? Okay, something just flew over really quickly, but that's okay. Uh, we're currently not even aimed on a runway, but we're gonna take off anyway. Uh, I'm sure this is fine. Yes, and the landing gear is gonna come up. All right, beautiful. Yeah, we're actually flying already. Dude, look at how tiny the wings are. It looks weird, but I like it, yeah. Okay, so I figured it would actually be faster than this, but it doesn't matter, that's fine. Uh, I wanna go through a bunch of the controls. So, one actually turns on landing lights, which I can't see. <laughs> I don't actually see that changing anything, uh, which is interesting. Oh, that's probably on the landing gear, that makes sense. Hold on, here we go. Yeah, it is. So it's on the front of the landing gear. Okay, cool. Well, put that away. We don't need that right now. Okay, what does two do? Two is nav lights, these things on the end of the wings. All right, that's pretty cool. Uh, what does three do? Three is strobes. Okay, that's the blinky things on the end of the wings. And if we press four, that's for ice lights. I'm not sure what that is. I don't actually know what that is. Is that this thing? That's not lights though, is it? I don't know what that is. Um, but yeah, okay, right. We've got five, which is air brakes. We don't need that right now. And we got six, which is open side air vents. Uh, so let's press six and see if anything happens. Oh, here it is. Here, right here. Look at that. Wow, okay. That's quite an insane amount of detail in this thing. Uh, but that is on both sides. Not entirely sure what that does either. Um, but there you go. And if we press seven, uh, we open oil cover hatch. To remove the dipstick, so you can actually check the dipstick on this thing. Look at that! Look at that! That's amazing! Yeah! So this thing actually has a bunch of things like that, and that is, um, that is pretty cool. VTOL actually does flaps, so it does have flaps for takeoff and landings. Um, and yeah, so how about we go ahead and try and fly this through the middle of the bridge? That seems like a good plan to me. Alright, so we gotta line ourselves up right with this one. Uh, there is a plane in the air right there that might try and shoot me down, I'm not so sure. Um, and I don't actually know if we'll fit through here with how big our wingspan is, because even though we're a small plane, it does seem quite wide. It, it does. Um, but maybe that's just because of how skinny things are. I'm not so sure. Anyway, uh, we're gonna try and level ourselves out and fly straight through the middle of this bridge. <laughs> Um, weird plan, I know, but let's see if we can do it. Here we go. Here we go, indeedy. I'm using a keyboard to do this as well, so my control system isn't look, isn't the best. Isn't the best. But we are. We did it. We did it. That was completely fine. That was easy. Amazing. Right. Well, uh, let's try and land it, and then we'll check out another plane. Cause I kind of feel like doing that. So here we go. Landing gear is gonna go down. Um, really weirdly, because, you know, we're not really in the position to land here. I've, like a right angle to try and land this thing. Um, and I kind of feel like our front engine is just going to die. Or our propellers are going to die or something. It's not going to go well, at least. That's that's what I'm thinking. Um, wait, landing gear needs to be down. Uh, F9 to get these things back. And that's trim. Hold on, we need flaps. Here we go. We do actually have some flaps. Which work insanely well. Whoa, okay. That was literally just pushing me up. That's incredible. Okay, here we go. We're going in for a landing. And we're down. Come on, brake. Do we have any brakes? Uh, five, air brakes. Whoa, look how they deploy. Oh boy. Oh boy. This isn't good. This isn't... Do we not have any brakes? What is this? Help. <laughs> help! 
Press A. Maybe that's proper brakes. No? Okay. Well, we have stopped. Kind of. We're going 10 miles. We're just going to slide down this hill. That's fine. Uh, we didn't actually break anything off, which is absolutely incredible. Uh, but yeah, really nice plane. Um, does it have an interior? I guess that's something we should check. No, it doesn't. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and move on to the next one. Alright, so this is a plane that is completely different to the previous one. It is an Airbus A330-300 Air Canada livery, as you guys can see. The Air Canada livery actually looks really nice. Um, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and take off with this thing from Bandit Airport, which is probably an airport that one of these would never ever land at. But um, we're going to take off anyway, and uh, we're going to hope for the best. So, here we go. Uh, it does have an interior, I think. Yeah, it does. Look at this. So we can actually take off from in here. Uh, presumably these work. Not entirely sure, but let's rotate anyway. Landing gear can come up. Whee! And we can fly away. That is awesome. What a cool looking plane. Uh, the landing gear does go in, but very slowly. And uh, eventually the doors will close. Yes, they will. There we go. And that is awesome. That is super cool. Uh, also, you might have noticed there. Uh, that when the landing gear was coming up, the the landing lights actually turned off automatically. Uh, which is actually pretty cool. Uh, I am going to scroll down on here and just check if there's any other things. We've got thrust reversers and we've got AG5, which is autopilot slash enhanced flight characteristics. Whoa, look at them bendy wings. Dude, look at them bendy wings. That's crazy. That is mental. Alright, well anyway, uh, we're going to fly around to Jaeger, and we're going to attempt to land this thing properly. Hopefully we can. Dude, look at this wing flex. Like, look at it. It's, they're so wobbly. They're very wobbly wings. That is weird. That's very weird. But I, I guess, I mean, real planes do wibbly wobble a bit, but um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Apparently the instruments on the inside actually work, so we must have, well, um, okay, that works. The artificial horizon definitely works, um, but that's it, I think. Yeah, I mean, these controls work too, the little, little sticks on the side, they do work, um, but yeah. Wow. Okay, well, uh, let's line ourselves up and actually go in for a proper landing here. Alright, so since the landing gear takes forever to go out, or go up, we should go ahead and try and put it down now. Uh, so that it actually goes down in time for landing. We're going to go land on the left runway here. Uh, and hopefully everything is going to go fine. I'm assuming it will. Uh, I am assuming it will. Um, okay, here we go. We are going in at full speed so far. I've just pressed the landing gear button again by accident. I just wanted these to come up. There we go. We're going to throttle down. We're going to have some flaps. Yes, we are indeedy. And we're going to go in for a landing. This is going to be fine. Yeah. All right, everybody ready for this? Is everybody ready for this? I can't tell how high we are, but that's fine. Uh, here we go. Landing commencing in three, two, rotate. Uh-oh. Rotate. No. That'll do. That'll do right there. That'll do, donkey. All right, cool. We're down. We are actually down. We do have reverse thrusters if I press 2. I'm not entirely sure how we actually use those. Oh, there we go. They actually just do it themselves. That is awesome. And there we go. We stopped. Unlike the last uh, the last airliner we landed here, smashed straight into uh, those buildings at the end. But this one, no. We actually managed to land. That is awesome. I'm actually going to attempt to take off from here. Uh, this doesn't really seem like a good idea. Uh, but we're going to do it anyway. Here we go. Oh, wait. We're in the air instantly. <laughs> it's completely fine. Okay, we should be able to go straight over the top of this. Easily enough. We're going to go ahead and get rid of our flaps. Uh, just so we can have more thrust forwards instead of uh, upwards. And we'll see what happens here. Yeah, we actually just fly straight over the top. That is incredible. That is absolutely incredible. Um, well, uh, I was going to try out another plane. But uh, instead, what I think I might do is... Try and fly this through the bridge. <laughs> I might try and fly this through the bridge. Uh, it seems like a bad idea. Uh, it's definitely a bad idea. But we might as well try it anyway. So let's go ahead and turn around. And we'll attempt to fly straight through the bridge. Not the same way we went with the last plane. But like uh, this way. This time. Uh, and hopefully we'll fit through one of the gaps. Because um, 
that's what I'm relying on. So, yeah. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna have to aim for one of these ones. This one here, or this one down here. Uh, I'm sure it'll be completely fine, so let's, uh, let's do it. I think going for one of the- oh boy. Oh boy, okay, now that I'm actually doing this, I'm not so sure we fit. No, we do. We fit. Woo! There we go, that was close, but we did get through it. Nice! That's awesome! Alright, well, uh, anyway, I think I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here. Uh, thank you guys for watching, hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you guys wanna check out either of the two planes, I will link them both down below. Um, thank you to the guys that actually make these planes. I actually really enjoy coming back to Simple Planes and checking out things like these. So, um, yeah. Anyway, uh, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. See you in the next one. Goodbye.